Oof. Oof. Good morning. It is, according to my clock right there, 12.46. I know it says 3, but I've explained this already. Anyway, um, so it's past midnight. Um, I got back from a very long day trip with all of my best friends. Well, nearly all of my best friends. One of us couldn't make it. Um, to to the beach. And if there's one thing my friends know about me, it's that... It... <laughs> Actually, I, I talk about myself a lot, so they know a lot about they know a lot about me. But um, and one thing they know about me is that I hate a lot of things. One of the things I hate is going to the beach, and I hate it for the exact reason why one would like to go to the beach, is that it's hot, so you go to the beach because you cool yourself off. But I hate going to the beach because the prospect is you're going to have to like drive around and go to a place where it's, the sun is just right there um, and you're either too hot because you're you're sitting on the on the hot sandy beach or or you're too cold because then you're going into the water. Well, anyway, today I decided I'll go with them to the beach. Well, not today, but like we planned it. We planned a beach day. Um, we were we went to uh, we went to the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk, which is good God! I've never actually said that whole thing out loud. It's one of those things, um, but it, we went to the boardwalk. You know, calling it the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk is the most tourist thing you could probably say. Um, we went to the boardwalk, um, which I haven't been to that place in like. A long while, I don't even remember. That place looks very different um, from what I remember it. Um, it's really nice. Um, we uh, Before that, though, we went to a place called The Mystery Spot. Um, the Mystery Spot is a place in Santa Cruz. And, uh, oh, I had a button from it. I don't know where that went. Hmm. Oh, there it is. The Mystery Spot. Um, it's a place out in Santa Cruz, um, the way explained to me is that it's, it's, a it's a small patch of land, um, well, it's, it's, a long, long time ago, someone bought this large wooded area, or, um, this large lumber, lumber jack field, whatever, it's a bunch of trees that were being used up for, for lumber, but this guy bought it out because he wanted to build a house there, and so all the trees grew. But um, they found it in this just this one little tiny specific area in the plot of land, just just in one weird area. Um, the gravity there feels a little bit weird, where things fall up. Um, and they didn't give us an explanation as to why. Probably so that the mystery isn't ruined. Um, but it, it has probably something to do with like magnetic fields or something like that. But it looks really it, it's really cool. It um, it's really interesting. And we we sat there for about an hour. Um, it's really nice to start off to our morning. We headed there, like, uh, what, like 7.30ish, maybe around 7.40. We ended up there at, like, uh, 10 o'clock. It's a nice long drive. I like nice long drives with my friends. It's just, it's just nice being around them for extended periods of time. Um, and then the tour was around 45 minutes. Um, so we were there till like what, like eleven or so. We had food, and then we went to the beach. We went to the boardwalk, and again, the boardwalk is. Um, I don't remember the boardwalk very well. I don't remember doing a lot of th things at the boardwalk, honestly. Um, but we went to the boardwalk. We played a bunch of games. My friend won me this thing because <laughs> I because I because I said I wanted it, and she she got she wanted it for me. A little Donkey Kong. I always wanted a little Donkey Kong. There you go. I wanna, I'm gonna see if I can hang it from my car. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, she wanted me a little, she wanted me a little Donkey Kong. Um, and uh, we also went to on the Fright Walk, uh, which is really fun, really scary. Um, lots of loud noises. I'm really glad that. Uh, I'm really glad that it's pretty tame by comparison. Um, the one haunted house tour that I've always been afraid of because I've never went on it is the one in Universal Studios, the the, the Walking Dead 
thing, which I don't even know if it exists anymore, or maybe they rebranded it to something that's not The Walking Dead, but it might still be up. Um, but I've always wanted to go there, because I, I hear it's, like, scary. Um, there's actual actors jumping out at you and touching you and grabbing you and shit. I bet it's fucking freaky. But, um... Before we went in, the the attendant prefaced this by saying, like, there's not going to be anyone there grabbing you. There's going to be lots of jump scares, though, so be warned. And there's also a mirror maze at the end. And, um, boy, you know, um, lots of us vibes. <laughs> um, actually, it was really funny because right outside of the Fright Walk, um, they had a little mannequin dressed up as a tether. And for those that don't know what that is, it's from uh, Jordan Peele's new movie, Us, which um, was set in Santa Cruz um, at, at the boardwalk. Um, and the concept is a little girl finds her um, tether in a mirror maze. So that was really freaky. Um, but they capitalized on it. There was there was a bunch of like posts. There was legit like a building that just had posters of Us. I don't even know what that building's supposed to be or if it's just like a wall but um it was it was it was really cool um to see that you know and then we and then we spent a good day at the, we spent a good deal of time at the beach um i realized why i don't like going to the beach is um not necessarily because of the hot weather or the or the cold cold water we actually went on a really nice day i'm really glad because the week um leading up to this beach trip has been like blisteringly hot it was reaching like hundreds like, 100 degrees, like, one day. It was, like, 90 the other day. It's slowly slowly getting cooler. I was expecting it to be, like, you know, like, um... I was expecting it to be, like, low 70s. Um, high 60s, which it was. It was nice and windy, and it was... The sun was out, but it wasn't, like, you know, like, right on top of us. Um, so that was really nice. Um, I realized I don't like going to the beach because I'm allergic to fucking lotion. <laughs> like, sun uh, sunblock lotion, uh, sunblock? Um, I don't know if I'm allergic to it or not, but it, it, my skin's very, very sensitive, and it doesn't like it, so if you hear me, like, scratching at myself, that's because, um, as soon as I got home, I swiped that shit off, um, put on my little, um, not my chamomile, but, like, I have, like, I have, like, a special, like, lotion just to calm my skin down, and, um, it's helping a little bit, but it's not quite doing the job. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's because it's... I don't know if it's because I'm, it's, it doesn't work on my skin anymore and I just need to get something new. Um, but in any case, it's just, oh, it's awful. Um, and that's why I had to stop doing um, swim team. It wasn't always like this. I, I did, I did like, swim for, like, a whole season. Like, I was on the varsity swim team and it never affected my skin. I don't know what happened. Um, maybe my skin just got more sensitive or maybe it's the type of lotion that I'm using. Uh, sunblock that I'm using I don't know I thought it was a spray kind that that ruined my skin but I don't know anymore because I was using like a I was using a lotion this whole day and it didn't affect me up until maybe it's the water too the ocean so that that could possibly be it um I almost died like twice <laughs> um went out high tide I don't I didn't go out too far but um you know waves are unpredictable and <laughs> And literally, um, I was, I was walking out as we were like, we don't, um, um, I don't like to swim in the ocean just cause the water is really salty and I, I didn't bring my goggles also. Maybe if I brought my goggles, I'd be more, uh, I'd be more likely to, but I just, I don't like swimming in like salty ass water. Um, more of an indoor pool kind of guy, but, um, I try to walk out as far as I could and, um, a wave just like just above my head rushed towards me and engulfed me in it. It didn't it didn't knock me over, but boy was it scary. Water got all over my ears. And um it didn't it didn't hit me that hard, but it was still really scary. But um the other wave totally did. It wasn't nearly as high, but I guess I wasn't prepared and I was trying to walk away from it. it knocked me right the fuck over. And I and I felt stretched out because like I my I hurt my side a little bit. Um I don't know, I don't know if it's, like, any sort of, like, it stopped hurting, like, like, a few minutes after that, but, like, boy, walking back to the group, um, where everyone else was sitting in the sand was, like, ugh, painful, um, but yeah, it was, it was really fun. Oh, I got this thing, too, from the mystery shop, before I move on. 
and a little music box of I Love You California. I love music boxes. They're so creepy, but also so beautiful. Um, that's why all my little snow globes are music boxes, or most of them, because I like I like snow globes, but um, I like the music box aspect of it a whole lot. Um, but after that, we walked around downtown Santa Cruz. We ate at this place called um, Pizza My Heart. Um, really excellent pizza if you just happen to be in Santa Cruz. Um, really good. The slices are gigantic. They're like five to six dollars each. I got the Lexus uh, chicken and bacon. Boy, it's a good pizza. It's it's a thin crust pizza. It's really really nice. It's it's great. I don't know what else to describe it as. And it was a and it was just a. Little, we just spent a whole day together. It was it's really fun, you know. More than anything, you, you know, fuck the beach, fuck the mystery spot, fuck the pizza place. Sorry, I just heard like a really weird sound. Anyway. Anyway, um just you know, you know, you know, fuck all that. Just um you know, just getting to hang out with my friends again. Um, you know, some something that something that we've been doing a little bit more regularly these days, um, which I really like. Um, but I feel like um We've never gotten around to actually getting the whole group together. Um, I actually just recently saw um, a picture that a group that uh, that our my friends took a long, long time ago when the group was just really, really small, just like five of us, um, and that was it. That was everyone. It was just five people. And then, uh, but you know, these days there's like so many of us that having to coordinate around so many people gets really complicated so it's it's difficult it's understandably difficult because you can't account for everyone's time and this time um we just happened to miss out on just one person so it was just like you know 90 percent of the group literally 90 percent of the group was there but just that little missing 10 percent which is kind of sad that that 10 percent wasn't there but at the same time it was nice to get you know a majority of the people around again just because we don't just because you know we see each other regularly but um we never see everyone together all at the same time just hanging out having fun this is cool i liked it um that was just you know my favorite aspect of the whole day whatever you know i could just i could just sit with these people for like hours i wouldn't they wouldn't even care what would be happening um it was nice it was it was really good i liked it a lot um but uh it was also a nice relaxing drive home at least for me i fell asleep i fell asleep and i woke up to um my friend because my friend was driving us um and he was listening to uh he was listening to an audio of um of a stand-up set um i forget i forget his name mike bergalia or something like that i forgot um whatever it's very hard to pronounce last name it was really funny and i couldn't go back to sleep because i was too busy paying attention to the set and I was laughing so hard um and I think I woke everyone else up but it was it was good it was nice it was a nice drive home I just you know I just I, I love hanging out with these guys and um it was just nice being around them for like a whole day um but that's it it was it was really eventful as soon as I got home though I just hop into the shower just wash all this off of me the sand everything um put everything that was dirty into the wash um I'm gonna go do the laundry tomorrow um actually do have plans again tomorrow so that should that should go great but um other than that yeah um i'm gonna i don't know i'm gonna stay here i guess until i tie myself out and go to sleep but uh until then um thanks for listening and i'll see you guys later bye